In this video, we are going to find all three digit numbers n, such that 11 divides n, and n over 11 is equal to the sum of squares of the digits of n. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. When I first saw the fact that n is a three digit number, I would immediately rewrite n in its expanded form in base 10. As in, if the digits are a, b, and c, then I will write n to be a times 100 plus 10 times b plus c. For example, if the number is, say, 1, 2, 3, then I'll rewrite that as 100 times 1 plus 10 times 2 plus 3. So for such an n, given that 11 divides n I would say that it's congruent to 0 mod 11 and reducing the coefficients I will have a minus b plus c is congruent to 0 mod 11 now from the fact that a, b, and c can only take values 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 9, we know that there are only two possible values for a minus b plus c, which is that either a minus b plus c is 0 or 11. This value cannot take, say, minus 11 or 22 because of the constraints of the values that a, b, and c can take. Now, after exhausting um, the fact that n is a multiple of 11, I'm now going to use the second fact, which is that n divided by 11 is equal to the sum of squares of the digits of n. So, n is equal to 100a plus 10b plus c, when this is divided by 11, is equal to a squared plus b squared plus c squared. So simplifying, by moving the 11 to the other side, and uh, further splitting left hand side into 99a, this is 10, not 11, plus 11b plus a minus b plus c, maybe I'll put this in the second row, In fact, this is also the reason why I'm considering a minus b plus c, because this is what we are going to get after um, removing all the multiples of 11. So at this point, I'm going to divide um, this equation into two cases. The first case is that a minus b plus c is 0. Now I can say b equals a plus c, and I'm going to put this into our equation. Then we'll have 11 times 9a plus b, while this part is 0, the yellow part is 0, equals to 11 times a squared plus b squared plus c squared. Then we can um, cancel the 11s on both sides. And at the same time, I'll rewrite b to be a plus c. And the right-hand side will become 2a squared plus 2ac plus 2c squared. Now, at this point, I'm going to rewrite this equation to make it look like a quadratic equation about the variable a. As in, I'm going to put everything on one side. 2a squared plus 2ac minus 10a, but I'm going to group them by taking out the common factor a. And so we have 2a times 2c minus 10 plus 2c squared minus c equals 0. So this is a quadratic equation about the variable a. And the coefficients will now be 2, 2c minus 10 
and 2c squared minus c. And then we're going to consider the discriminant of this equation. So discriminant delta is equal to the coefficient of a whole squared minus 4 times 2 times 2c squared minus c. And then you can simplify that a bit. And you'll get minus 12c squared minus 32c plus 100. Of course, at this point, when you reach this quadratic equation, you may simply put um, different values of a, say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and see whether there are any uh, positive integral solutions. But I will demonstrate the delta method instead. At this point, you can see that if c takes a very large value, say 7, 8, or 9, then this delta is negative, so there will be no uh, real roots. So there is actually a bound, which is that this delta is only non-negative when c equals 0 or 1. In fact, when c is 2 for this part, the delta is already minus 14. So that's negative already. Now, when delta is 0, and not, not delta is 0, when c is 0, then delta is 100. So that means there, um, delta is a perfect square, so it is possible for um, a to have an integral solution. So now when c equals 0, the equation is very e it's very simple, which is that 2a squared equals 10a. So a is either 0 or 5. Of course, we reject 0 because um, that's the 100th digit, so it's impossible to be uh, 0. The last digit, I mean. So when a is 5, z is 0, therefore b is also 5. So n is then 5, 5, 0. That's one of the solutions. Now that's the first case, and I'm going to consider the second one, which is that if this expression now takes value 11, not 0 anymore. And the equation is 11 times, maybe I put this down first, a plus c is then, or maybe I should say, A plus C minus 11 equals B. So then 11 times 9A plus B plus 11 equals 11 times A squared plus B squared plus C squared. So the 11s cancel out. So 9A plus A plus C minus 1, minus 11, sorry, plus 1 equals A squared plus C squared plus A plus C minus 11 whole squared. I'm going to expand everything and simplify. For the left-hand side, we have 10a plus c minus 10. And for the right-hand side, we'll have 2a squared plus 2c squared plus 2ac minus 22 times a plus c plus 121. Now, I'm going to use the same strategy, which is that 2a squared plus 2c squared plus 2ac minus 32a minus 23c plus 131 is equal to 0. And I'm going to make it another equation, another quadratic equation about the variable a. So 2a squared plus a times 2c minus 32 plus 2c squared minus 23c plus 131 equals 0. Now, as I've said just now, you may simply put values uh, 0 to 9, or 1 to 9 into A, and then solve the equations and see whether you have any positive integral solutions. But again, I'm going to demonstrate the delta method. So delta equals 2c minus 32 whole squared 
minus 4 times 2 times 2c squared minus 23c plus 131. Now for this time, I'm going to speed up the simplification a bit. So now, for this delta, we have minus 12c squared plus 56c minus 24. Now for this quadratic expression, it will only be the negative only when c equals 1, 2, and 3. Now if c is 1, then delta is then 20, not a squared, no integral solution. If c equals 2, delta is then 40. And for these two cases, we have no integral solution. And finally, if c equals 3, delta is actually 36, a square number, so it's possible for a to have inter positive integral solutions. Now the equation would become 2a squared plus a times minus 26. So that means that's uh, minus 26a. And at the same time, I will have plus 80 equals 0. So a squared minus 13a plus 40 is 0. So a is either 5 or 8. Now if a is 5, then b should be uh, minus 3 because there's a plus c minus 11 but that's clearly impossible or when a is 8 then b is 0 so therefore for this case n will be 803 so altogether n is under 550 or 803 and that's our final answers